Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing yet another resin unboxing. Uh, we said when we did the liquid create unboxing that we would be back at you with more resins and here we are. So today we are going to be unboxing a resin from Apply Labs. I believe they're based out of the States and this is their MSLA castable cyan resin. So as per usual you guys put a request out to us saying hey we saw this have you tried it yet? We hadn't tried this one, so we reached out to Apply Labs. They got back to us with some samples, and we're gonna see how they work. So with Apply Lab Works, their resins come in these huge one liter bottles. So Apply was very nice to us, and they sent us two of these, so we're gonna be able to do a lot of different tests for you guys. Let's get this second one open here. So these guys are going to be used for MSLA. They have a DLP castable resin coming soon, but that's not available yet. Uh, as far as I could tell, the MSLA castable is actually quite new to the Apply Lab Works brand, uh, and it was only uh, launched in November of 2020. So if you've tested it, sound off in the comments. Uh, we're just getting our hands on it to see how it works. So with this resin, it's $99 a bottle for one liter bottles. That's a really good price. Uh, that's just the introductory price, however, and from there it goes up to $150, which is still relatively good value across the ones that we've tested. So as far as what they say that this resin is capable of, they've listed a lot of features across the board. Let's just go over a few of those. They're saying that it's low or no ash, that it's low shrinkage, that you can print it on most LCD printers. And again, they have that DLP one coming as well. It's also VOC free, suitable for most jewelry and dental casting. On the website, they have a lot of photos of this stuff from filigree to more bulkier ring designs. So it seems to be good across the board as far as what I can tell from what they're saying. Uh, the resin also requires no post curing. It's said to have low or no shrinkage, and it has a simple burnout process. The burnout schedule is actually listed on the company website, so you can follow along with a whole instructional document that they've put together on how to best use this resin. So as far as our testing goes, if you've been here a while, you kind of know the process. We're gonna start off with a series of models, first being the hollow wire mesh ball print that you've probably seen. Uh, in a lot of our videos. After these guys are done, we're going to go through and print our series of our own stone setting practice rings because they kind of vary from having thin bands to thicker bands and different prongs and bezels that it's just good to test across the board of what you can get in a ring size. Uh, we might go from there and print a few more fun ones depending on how those other two prints turned out, but you'll get to see that in the next video. So as per our other tests, we're going to be casting in silicon bronze and following the standardized burnout schedule as suggested by Apply Labworks. It's a standardized wax burnout schedule, uh, but if that one doesn't work, we're going to shift over to more in line with what we do on a regular basis. So if you want to see those tests, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Remember to like the videos if you want to see more of that content and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we actually get uh, everything together and do the review for this resin. We'll see you guys in the next video.